Derek Johnson, Mr. Scary. Do you allow Windows updates to run in your virtual box installations? It is my experience that they really bog down the system. It not being my primary work environment, do you think that they're necessary? Also, I reinstall my virtual Windows XP every time I reinstall Ubuntu for updates. Should I be concerned with this eventually locking out my Windows XP license? Okay, so two questions. Uh, first question, do I run automatic updates in my Windows virtual machines? Mm -hmm. And that's a yes, or a yes and no question. It depends on which, which virtual machine. Uh, because I, I tend to treat my virtual machines as if they were real computers, like as if this was a real Windows installation. Uh, because any, I, don't, I don't even uh, really use Windows much anymore. But when I do, I want it to be you know, up to date. It's got my virus scanner installed and things like that. Um, because that is my Windows environment. I don't want to have problems with that. So mm -hmm. if, you, if, if you would normally run Windows updates for that system, then yes. There are certain environments, like when I'm doing a, uh, a terminal server uh, setup, I tend to turn off Windows updates because sometimes Windows updates will actually break my terminal server. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got to be careful of things like that. If you think the updates might break your setup, then we want to stay away from it. But if it's something like just a, a system to be running certain applications, uh, then, then it should be fine. Mm -hmm. The second question there, Carrie, um, or Christy, pardon me. Christy. See, force a habit. <laughs> Isn't that unreal? We love you, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, well, should it's I be just concerned yeah. with the, this event? OK, reinstalling Windows over and over again. Should I be concerned mm -hmm. with this locking up your XP license? You've heard that if you reinstall your Windows over and over again, it's eventually going to say, you can't install this anymore. You've already got it installed. And that's true. Um, it's limited to so many installs. But what happens is, if that happens, if you get the warning that you are no longer allowed to install your operating system, you can pull down from your pull, uh, like a pull down menu uh, what country you're from. And it's going to give you a toll free number. You can call them up and you can read into their robot uh, your product key and, uh, and you know, answer their questions and things like that. And they'll actually send back to you uh, audibly. Uh, their robot will tell you an activation key. So even though, yes, it will, like, that's, that's their way of, of stopping people from, uh, from distributing uh, illegal copies of the software. Because if, if they've got people all over the world using the same copy, the same license key, then that's no good. Uh, they're losing a lot of money on that. So uh, by doing that, they're forcing you to have to call in. But you can call in. You can tell them that, you know, you can answer their questions, and, uh, and they'll be able to activate it for you over the phone. Mm 